our culture is radically changing. We are living in nothing short of a cultural revolution in my perspective. Um, politics, they say, is downstream from culture and culture is downstream from education. I've spent the last 30 years of my life either as a student, a professor, or working in campus ministry relating to students and professors. Rocio Christie is on the campuses. What priority do you think the church ought to put on the mission to and into the universities? Yeah, Rocio Christie uh, and other groups are doing really cutting edge work. This is of such great importance to the church because you can only take your parents' faith so far. At some point, an individual has to resolve for him or herself whether or not I'm going to own this, right? I, I read recently, again, the famous yeah. story about, about uh, Jacob's encounter with his brother Esau. And remember, he has this dream, and this occurs just before the wrestling at the River Yavok uh, with the angel of God. And the dream he has is all about this sense of angst that he has, uh, that he's going to meet his brother and something terrible is, is, is going to... Uh, happened to him and uh and 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 should he keep the gods of his fathers of his grandfather Abraham and of his father Isaac he has to now decide whether God is faithful to him in this moment of crisis in his life as he's coming back from Mesopotamia and returning to the land of Canaan and that's a watershed moment for him in his life we all have watershed moments where we have to decide whether the god of our father and mother is going to be our God. And I found that the time when that mostly happens, and it happened for me at that time, was the time when I entered oh, college. I left high school, I went to college, right? Because this is the time of transition. Mm -hmm. This this is yeah, moving out of the parents' household. Granted, you still stay very closely connected in college for a <laughs> time, but now you're pretty much out on your own. You're starting that process, and you're going to have to decide. Your, your own peers now are becoming more a more important group for you than your own parents. So now you have to make a choice and a decision. And as you know, in colleges today, overwhelmingly, they're on one side of the spectrum. Right. And it's not the side favoring the Christian faith. Right. Including on this sexuality issue, but of course, all across the board. And so they need a countervailing voice, a reasoned presentation that the God of their fathers is not, and mothers is not unreasonable, but actually makes perfect sense of the world, of the universe, of the creation as we see it. And that Jesus's call to them is absolutely critical. And it's a total call. It's not a, not a little minor makeover. It's a total home makeover for them that Jesus is looking for them to get. So to have a faithful group present a reasoned presentation for the faith, that makes a total demand on an individual's life, there's hardly any more important work that could be done.